Hello there. I have an artful box. This is so cool. Um, whew, I wasn't expecting it to come today, but it did. <laughs> if you don't know what artful is, it is a subscription box that you get every, I think you get it four times a year. It's like a quarterly box and it's really fun. So let's see what's inside this box and see what we can create with it. I love, 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 love this artwork. It's really nice. Oh, very orange. Ooh. I love that I get these cards every single time because I have a stash of them that I can paint on and send to my loved ones. What have we got this time? Ooh, I'm excited. I don't think I was this excited the last time I got this. Uh, so we have this little thing. I'm not going to look at any of the information or anything like that but I'm reckoning we got combo pens because I've seen yeah okay right I've never actually used these before so I'm quite excited there it is wow you would think it was inktober or something anything else in here yep just a rubber okay <laughs> wow okay look at the amount of pens we've got and we've also got Bristol board as well all right, okay, 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 I'm excited. So first of all, we have this. Sorry, I had to set up my camera so that you could see what I was doing. <laughs> um, this is the Tombow Homograph Mono 2 HB pencil uh, for high pre precision drafting. So I'm excited. Got to keep it at a certain length. I probably should put auto something on it. I'm guessing they want me to do calligraphy or something. Anyway, we have a bunch of these Tombow ABT water-based pens and they're dual-ended so you get a brush nib on one side and you get a bullet nib on the other. I think I will be watching the tutorials for this, but we've got a blue, they're numbered, we've got a black I'm guessing, an orange, a teal colour, we have a pale pink, a grey, a lilac and a red and then we've also got these which are twin tone Tombow pens so I'm guessing, okay, there's a tip like that and then there's also this, those are exciting so we've got a blue, a pink, a green, a purple and a orange <laughs> And then we also have this, which is a mono plastic eraser by Tombow. Very handy. And then we have the Bristol board for lettering, illustration, and sketching. Um, 250 GM squared, 120 pound. <gasps> I've always wanted 120 pound paper. This is 8. 0.27 by 11.969 inches. It's really a really weird size to be honest. Hold up. <laughs> From Japan to the whole world. Oh, is Tombow a Japanese brand? I don't know. <laughs> you just open this paper just to test it out. So yeah, it's, it's Bristol board. I love Bristol board. Oh, it's, it's thinner than I thought it was going to be. That's good. Okay. I might make a sketchbook out of this paper. And then we have the, yes, let's learn about calligraphy and other stuff, um, artful book. So it'll have stuff about artful in here. Stuff about Tombow markers and things. Okay, cool. Let's get rid of this box. So I might maybe do a tutorial. There's a how to do a, a fox. A foxy looking fox, but let's swatch the markers first. Oh, it sharpens really nicely. Yeah, the wood on it is a little bit worse for wear, but it's alright. Okay, so let me see. Put this to the side and start swatching. We're just going to have some fun. No pressure. Oh. Oh. Should I open this rubber? Because. Why not? We can test it. <laughs> test all the supplies. Okay, so the rubber's not really that great. Like, here's my rubber. And my rubber's better. Okay, 
Um, but yeah, that's that's exciting. Hold on. Right, let's watch these things first because I'm really excited about these. I've never heard of them before. Uh, we'll do it in whatever order they're in, I guess. So we have. I'm very curious about this. So we have. Oh, they're like felt tip pens, but. On this board they're okay. I'm I'm assuming that you can use oh oh I'm not sure about that. Water with them, maybe? I don't know. Let's see, I've got dirty water, I'm really sorry. <laughs> okay, so I would say no to the water. I don't know if it's because my water's dirty or not, but I think I would say no. And maybe the paper doesn't like the water. Alright, let's get to swatching. So, they're not really twin tone. I would say they're like dual ended because they have different sizes. And it's the same, it's the same tone, I would say. Let's just put... Uh, another one here. A lot of bright colours. I wonder what we're going to draw with this because there's so much bright colours that I could use. We'll see. Maybe the tutorials will help. I don't know. But this is a lot of pens that I probably will not use. I'd probably be like, uh, pack orders. <laughs> I could probably use them like that. I like the thinness of them, of the other sides. Okay, so then we've done the pencil, now we need to do this. So there's pink and they also have a bullet nib. I don't know why I'm writing hello on every single thing, but that's fun. I like the fact that the chunky side is the brush so that you know exactly what the brush is. I'm pretty sure if you go over them though they will be, yeah it does start to rip up the paper pretty quickly. So these aren't really for layering and stuff, they're just for calligraphy and colouring and things I think. Um, Maybe we could draw a person, like a really funky, retro inspired person because I'm, I'm getting retro vibes from these colours. Wow, that black is so black. Oh, you can also, yeah, it's not, it's a very, very soft brush pen, so it will be hard to get um, actual lines with them, but we could have bold line art and this is the love that squeak <laughs> the red one and then we have the purple one which is very very light don't know and then you also get this which is tombow unleash your creativity uh, 20% off products. Tombow was founded in Japan, blah de, blah de, blah blah, dual brush pens available in multiple colours. Um, who's the featured artist? The colours. Okay, so they've obviously went with a coral under the sea theme for this. Um, which is great. Colour placement. So I'm thinking texture and flat washies is going to be the best idea for this. I would say, like you could, we're just experimenting here, we're, you could do, where's the lilac one, for those coral things that she's done, you could colour in a big area, right, and then do what she's done where she's, she's like, Oh, okay, that bleeds. I don't know if it's because it's not dry yet or what, but this is basically what she's done. Yeah, I think it needs to have time to dry. Make patterns and things. <laughs> it's 
not the best pattern, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Dots and stuff under the sea. Okay. She did exactly that. <laughs> okay. So it tells you exactly what we can do. Ah, there's little tutorials. Okay. Let's actually try some of these in. Since this is what the box is about. Usually I just do my own thing, but it's nice to have something to be able to do it with. Although that looks very bright compared to what she has. She says avoid crossover and I'm like having trouble. I don't know how to get a flat wash of this. This is why I like watercolour because it doesn't dry as quickly. Okay, so we've got a very patchy purple thing. And then you just do what she said. So draw the outline. That's basically what she's telling you to do. Or he. I don't know exactly. They. I don't really know who the actual artist is. They haven't even introduced them yet. Maybe they have and I've just missed it. Okay, um, and then this one. Okay, I kind of want to do this clownfish, but I've ran out of room. Is this double sided? I don't know. We're just going to do it anyway. Okay, so let's sketch this clownfish thing. I'm looking at this at a really weird angle. I feel like a two year old. I'm not exactly sure why you would choose to draw with these rather than like alcohol markers or something like that because they're just I don't know. They might be fun for like putting colour in your sketchbooks maybe, but I don't know how fun they would be um, without that. Where to create depth? Use 620 marker to add shade to the white area, so I'm guessing that's the grey. Like can't you have names? Nope, that's not 620. Where's 620? Oh, she's talking about this, okay. It just looks so much more vibrant and weird than, than hers. I don't know. Okay, maybe if I had done a better drawing, it would be cool. But, yes. They just seem really bright, like far too bright. Okay, right, I get it. So that's my amazing fish. Do you like it? <laughs> Yeah, it rips up the paper too much. I don't think these are for me for illustrating with. But I think I would probably use them in my sketchbooks just to add quick colour or a background of colour to make things pop. But, yeah. Okay, I'm actually going to go away, play with these markers for a little bit and see if we can come up with something cool to draw together. Hello, welcome back. Although you didn't leave, I did. <laughs> I went away and I played on Procreate for a little bit to see what I was going to make and I came back with this idea of this woman wearing this really weird 80s thing, uh, printed it out, traced it onto watercolour paper and now we are trying to do the technique where you rub it on a palette and paint with it. I'm doing swatches first because I was scared <laughs> and there's my big pink head getting in the way. But yeah, I thought that this was going to be cool, although I did do it in a different style than I'm used to. I'm not really used to doing cartoony, stylized people like this, especially in portrait form. So it was quite difficult for me to figure out how I wanted her eyebrows to look and her eyes and her mouth and her nose, all of that stuff. But I had fun drawing it. I was going to put the footage in here, but I realised that the video was getting a little bit long, so I just left it. Uh, so yeah, we're 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 swatching, we're swatching, and okay, that's really good. Well done. I think I realised, yeah, I realised that I was like over 
shading my head a little bit. So yeah, I'm just putting down the the marker, I guess, paint, whatever you want to call it. But I realised that I was running out of paint quite a lot for this. I didn't mix enough and I kept on mixing new paint and obviously you can see that there is a problem with the colour variation. I wish I didn't have my head in the way, I'm really sorry. This video was just a mess. So then I tried the technique where I put down some colour first and then I blend it out with water. And again, this left really weird streaks. The paper wasn't liking it. I probably should have tested it on this paper. I tested it on my watercolour book and it was working quite good, but it was literally just a scribble and water test. It wasn't anything extravagant. So in a way it does work, but at the same time it doesn't. So I gave up on that because I just didn't like the way it was coming out and I tried to mix more paint and just not worry about getting shadows. At the start just putting one big wash of colour down. That worked a little bit better so I was happy with that and to get that colour by the way I just mixed the orange, red and blue together and then I was trying to figure out where I wanted to put the colours and just put them all there and you can get vibrant colours out of this. Just the thing is with this, if I was going to use in this technique I would just rather use watercolour or gouache or just a paint. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to use these for a watercolour technique because it's rubbish, it doesn't work very well. And I know that a lot of artists can get good results with these markers and really like them. I think they're more of a craft supply and for lettering and writing and stuff than artwork. But I hate them that much that I'm going to give them away. <laughs> so if you like these kind of markers, like water-based markers for just adding colour to your sketchbooks, which I think they're good for, and maybe playing around with lettering, bullet journals, stuff like that, then uh, you can get these if you want. I'm going to give them away. So all you have to do to get them is just comment down below. What should we comment down below? Uh... I have no clue. I, I can't think of anything. Um, the turtle. Okay. <laughs> Just comment turtle and then you will be in the giveaway. And it has nothing to do with the video, but I just seen a turtle, so I'm like, okay, there you go, turtle. Um, you'll be in the giveaway and I will pick the winner. And if you get this, then you can have a little uh, marker set. There's 15 pens. I'm going to throw in two other pens that I've had lying around that I don't use that are quite similar to these and you can get them for yourself and I might add in a little surprise in there too. But yeah, it was just bleeding out, it wasn't working, it wasn't going well but I kept on pushing myself to finish this even though it was going terribly wrong and I wasn't enjoying myself whatsoever. I just kept pushing and pushing to see if I could figure out how to make this work but it just wasn't working, it really wasn't working and um, I came up with this horrible piece of art. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh yeah, I'm typing, texting. Oh, good. Okay. Right. There we go. <laughs> so then after I did this, I decided that it would be a good idea to maybe try it again with something that I am more comfortable with, which is my comfort zone donuts. And I did it in the sketchbook that I tested it in to start with just to see if this would go. And I think that Given the fact that I fancy myself as a really good donut painter, <laughs> this is the worst donut I have ever painted in my life. Honestly, this is also the worst video I've ever done in my life. It's just terrible. But yeah, so I tried the way of putting down the marker first and then blending it out, but this paper wasn't for it at all. It just didn't like it. Um, I'm mixing a colour here. Oh yeah, I'm mixing the brown for the actual donut itself. And that worked out great and I was feeling confident and I liked the way it was going. It looked like watercolour. I was having fun. And then it came to the icing and I just was like, oh my goodness, it was streaky. It wouldn't go down well. So yeah, I'm not selling these markers very well to you, but I'm telling you there are people that can do artwork with these great and it's fine. So all the markers that you see, the ABR ones and the twin twin tone ones, you can get in the giveaway. Um, and then 
yeah, I'm keeping the pencil and the paper because I like the pencil and the paper and the rubber, but you can have the markers. Um, so yeah, I'm putting down a layer and then I try to blend it out, but it doesn't work. It's just not blending out. So I then have to fill the whole thing with just this marker. And as you can see, it's obviously really streaky and it doesn't, like it doesn't layer nicely. It's just not the best. And you're not supposed to use these markers with watercolour paper either because they are really, really fragile and they will rip. And as you can see, the sprinkles are amazing. So that's my experience with these markers. Did not like them. Um, but I do really recommend the Artful Box anyway because they do send you cool art supplies to try sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to comment, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!